What is up guys, Bigfoot here, and this is going to be a video of how to make a piston 3x2 door, size of a nether portal. So if you wanna, I don't know. That's it, basically. If you wanna make a 3x2 door. Um, it's pretty compact. I, this is the most compact thing that I've seen. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to make it any easier. But if you know how to, then yeah, you can post in the comments and I will update this. But this is as compact of a 3x2 piston door that I know how to make. So you can see you step on the pressure plate and you walk through and it's all good. So what you're going to need here are six sticky pistons, four pressure plates, um, some redstone two redstone torches, and a block of your choice. So what you're going to want to do first is set up redstone torch, block of your choice, and then redstone dust. That should be right next to pistons that are pushing to the side. So that will have them automatically ad activated. And then you're going to want to attach um, cobblestone or whatever block you chose to those sticky pistons and then mirror that on the other side. So we go block right there, and then stack the pistons up right here, have this torch, block, and then redstone. So right now, the piston door is extended. So what you're gonna wanna do, and I'm just gonna use cobblestone for this, what you're gonna wanna do is dig down just gonna make sure that I have it right. Alright, good, good, good. Um, dig down two. So, that should be enough. I'm gonna get some sandstone just to fill this in so it looks all good. And you're going to want to completely cover this area with redstone. Dig one in each direction on the redstone, right where the pistons are and then lay your floor directly on top of all of this redstone. Wait, no. That seems wrong. All right, let's try that. I don't have this completely memorized, so I kind of, it's trial and error one or two times, and it works. All right, so that's how it works. So what you're going to want to do is underneath, dig out one to the side, and then dig out one and up. So it should look like this with the two dug out and then one up top. And you want to mirror that on the other side. Just kind of have the redstone trail up into a uh, sandstone block and you want to end right below the piston. So fill in all this with cobblestone. Place your pressure plates two blocks away from the pistons. So you can see I have that. And then you can just run through and it will close. And now you can easily just cover this all up with the block of your choice. And it's pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think that's as compact as you're going to see because it's only got the width of three if you want to make it concealed. Um, you want to make it so that no one can see it. And then you have to dig down a few blocks. So, if you guys can figure out a way to make this more compact, then post in the comments below. But this is as small as I think you can make it. So, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this helped you out. Hope you can use this in your future survival builds. This doesn't really seem like something you'd use in creative, more of survival. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.